what's up beautiful people it's in the welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's from latest juice and it's titled modern women did this to her boyfriend after he refused to clap her cheeks really hmm interesting i'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to see let's check it out like i always say if you want to see the worst way possible for anyone to handle rejection then you just have to reject a woman yourself sit back and watch her go on a rampage. Women handle rejections in the worst way possible most of the time because of what they have been fed and told by the feminist coven. They have constantly told them how beautiful, loving, and caring they are. They have been repeatedly assured that they are the prize and that any man would be lucky to have them. They took all these things to heart and really believed it. So when they truly like a man and boldly go for him and the man rejects them, they go berserk. They do not believe it. They think something is wrong with the man. They can never wrap their heads around the fact that the older feminists misled them. Hmm. I have once been in a case where I visited a female friend and we had a really good time together, cooking, talking and eating until she fucked it all up by making advances. I will be honest, I wasn't interested because I didn't see her in that light. She was like a G to me. So when she made those moves, I politely rejected her and to me that was supposed to be the Ned. Our friendship wasn't going to end because of that unlike some women do. But the real issue was after that rejection, the way she took it. She first went quiet, and the evening got awkward. Then she asked me if I was homosexual. It was funny to me, she couldn't believe she just wasn't wanted. That was just an example. Some women do worse things when they get denied sex or a date. Some threaten to accuse the man of sexual assault. Others say all type of things and spread rumors about the guy. It's the worst when it's women in a place of power. She already believes she's beautiful, special, and the best thing on earth. Then now she added money and power to it, and she still got rejected. Oh, her reaction would be deadly. There's a case like this of a female judge, Sonia McKnight. I'm sure some of you already heard the story, but she's now in a lot of trouble for what she did. Watch the clip to find out what she did. Court documents say Magisterial District Judge Sonia McKnight shot her ex-boyfriend in the head while he slept. He's been left blind in at what? least one eye, according to authorities. McKnight is accused of attempted murder and aggravated assault. She was unable to post $300,000 bail, according to court records. Police say McKnight's ex-boyfriend had recently broken up with her and wanted her to move out of his Susquehanna Township home. Around 1 a.m. Saturday, police say McKnight's ex-boyfriend awoke with massive head pain and was unable to see while she allegedly asked him what did he do to himself the ex-boyfriend was adamant he did not shoot himself police say while calling 911 mcknight could not explain what happened and that she was sleeping and heard him screaming but investigators came to the conclusion she pulled the trigger the location of the wound being one of the big uh, factors here a, a gunshot wound to the head um, pretty clearly gives you a um, indication of someone's intent. So the, the charge is appropriate, we believe. Police said a gun registered by McKnight was used in the shooting and that a license plate reader and ring doorbell footage contradicted part of McKnight's accounts of the evening, leading investigators to say her interview was deceptive. Additionally, an investigating mm -hmm. officer wrote in charging documents that McKnight tested positive for gunshot residue on her hand. McKnight was already suspended. What? Many people don't handle rejection well and more than likely these are people that they've never been told no. It's simple, you can't always have it your way. Shooting somebody because... Why? This is insane. And yeah, lots people do worse. People do lot more worse things. Some people on the life their partner or their ex partner or do other things and be like, oh, if I can't have you, you then nobody else will. Are the both of you tied to a, the, the exact same umbilical cord? It honestly don't make sense. If you you're in a relationship and the relationship doesn't work or is not working out then you are allowed to break up and move to a new partner the next one or somebody else 
it is crazy you see this not this this is just one out of many you see this some people even go to damage their exes property and say oh they broke up with them then they're gonna do something so they feel it why what exactly is wrong some people are just lunatics crazy people walking roaming about which honestly don't make sense and i've said it before relationship is not supposed to be for everybody because it is now so common that lots of people lose it what oh jesus lots of people don't know how to handle rejection and it's crazy because all their life they've never been told no so they feel like the entire world owes them no it doesn't nobody owes you nothing but yeah let's go McKnight was already suspended for unrelated reasons prior to this. A state judicial conduct board had alleged a number of counts of misconduct by She's McKnight that led to her suspension without pay. Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8. So now men do not only need to fear for their reputation while rejecting a woman, but also for their lives. It's crazy. Of course, she already had issues because she was already suspended as a judge. Hmm. Then her boyfriend was definitely trying to leave her because of some things he saw. He just didn't know that she had the mind to attempt to murder him. That's how serious it could get in some cases, yeah. how ugly things could get. Some men actually think dating women in high places or with serious jobs really makes a difference. Every Western woman has that bit in them, no matter what they do, what they studied, or how many degrees they have got. What a street lady could do to you for not wanting her anymore. A classy, successful woman could do worse. Mm. And it's even worse because she might be powerful enough to avoid getting punished for what she did. And you know what the funnier part is? She would be getting defended by a lot of other women on different social media. That just further confirms how they all aren't too different. Many other modern women would do just the same. That woman really tried to unalive him, guys. Then she then tried to say he shot himself despite the really obvious evidence lying around. She was a judge. She definitely knew about gun residues and all but she was blinded by anger and hurt that she wasn't thinking straight, and now she has blinded that man forever. That's how most modern women are. They are fueled by their emotions and refuse to use their head when making crucial decisions. Then later they start regretting their actions and they look around and find a man to blame it on. That's why I perfectly understand men who decide to stay single. You avoid a lot of problems that way. No woman will be planning to leave you and take half of your shit. When the woman doesn't want to leave, but you want to. That's another problem. The man who got shot in the head and left permanently blinded could testify. I just hope the law isn't partial and the woman gets what she deserves. Modern women feel it's cool to reject men. They go out and reject as many men as possible to boost their ego. They keep scores of men rejected in their friends group as a sort of game. It's fun for them. They do not care who they hurt in the process. As long as they keep their already fat ego even fatter. But when the table turns around, that's when things go awry. When they get rejected, not even remotely rudely as when they do, but when they get rejected, they switch up quickly. Now rejection is bad, and it's not on them. The man is either homosexual, impotent, or doesn't know good things. When they can't play all those cards, they go defensive. They either start spreading false rumors about the man, some even flip the story in the public and say they were the one who rejected the guy. And in the extreme cases, things like what this judge did happens. Men's lives are in danger from these obsessed, clout-chasing, and trigger-happy Western women, and no one really cares. It's not like anyone ever did anyway. No laws protecting the men. Millions of women who had falsely accused a man of sexual assault are all walking free and reputation intact right now. That's why, as a man, you have to think and protect yourself. No law, no rules is going to do that for you. You have to avoid those you have to avoid. Stay clear of places that can ruin you. That's how it should be. Thank you. That will be all for today on Latest Juice, guys. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, then surely you would love my other videos. Make sure to check them. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe. Is the fact that she was a judge, or is a judge and was suspended, and shot her boyfriend and blame it on him that he did it to himself like what kind of person is this is this even supposed to be real 
because now this looks or this sounds like a movie but it is not it is real we're actually talking about human beings like uh, an actual human being this is crazy it's crazy that lots of people don't know how to handle rejection and they are not used to getting rejected so they feel like oh the world um if they're gonna be in a relationship with somebody they it's gonna be forever because movie depicts or te is telling them that feminist is telling them that society is telling them that when sometimes some good people or some partners are not good good for each other or are not meant to be how about the possibilities of that yeah ladies do this men also do this so we're not gonna say oh it's only women men do this as well some of them they can't handle re rejection so they honor life their partner they do other weird things or other crazy things to their partner so it's both parties at this point it is crazy i'm trying to understand like what runs through their mind for the ones that always want to blackmail their partner or their ex-partner and be like well if they can't have them then nobody else will like what is this even real it honestly don't make sense that's why i said that people should vet their partners or vet people who are they going to into relationship properly yeah you can do all of the vetting but again you don't know that what is the person's intention because there are some people that are crazy when they are angry at this point you understand that you wonder why lots of people want to remain single some people it's not just relationships some people is a job they just can't handle really uh, rejection or some people is the fact that maybe they asked somebody for help and the person refused to help them therefore it becomes a problem because no how dare you tell me no nobody owes you nothing but this is crazy this is insane and think that she was trying to flip the script or flip it on him that's that that is messed up but yeah this is interesting to check let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share and i really love your honest contribution you can share all the useful information i think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video